Well, here's the uh, long-awaited Museum of Witchcraft. Uh, I've been building up to this one for 30 or so parts now. <laughs> like I, I acquired this quest pretty early. And uh, I was told, and I found online in multiple places, do not go to this just after getting to Diamond City, because you will get your ass kicked. And... I thought I heard something. If you'll notice over there, we have a Marler Queen. So that just gives you an idea, I think, as to what we're going to be dealing with here. We're at pretty much the edge of the map, at least on one side. So... I uh, haven't explored much in this region, but I have been told this is an incredibly difficult quest, especially in comparison to most, um, even as you level up pretty high. So, uh, got my shotgun out. We're going to be inside, so I... Whoa, hold on a sec. I have my shotgun out. We're going to be inside for a lot of this, so I imagine close quarters weapons are going to be important. What the fuck? Private heart. Okay, private heart's hollow tape. That's not it. Jeffries, Lee got the recorder working. So this the sort of detail you had in mind when you signed up for the Gunners, hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler. What was his name? Uh, Wellington? <laughs> Wellingham? Not now, Private. Where's Connors? He's not at his post. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. The lieutenant said he found some tracks. Wanted to check them out. Private Martin. Tracks? What track? What the hell is that? Oh, my. Connor! Where, where's the rest of him? Jesus. Found us. Sergeant Lee, grab the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! Major! Major, what found us? Well, it doesn't look like Private Heart made it that far. What did they find? Clearly some sort of monster that's capable of ripping you apart. So, I mean, process of elimination, especially considering the noise is probably a death claw. But, I don't know, inside of a building? You don't see that very often, especially with, you know, with death claws. They're kind of big, a little difficult to fit inside of a doorway. But who knows? Okay, no, it's it's a fucking death claw, that's for sure. What the hell was that? What do you think? It's growling. There's not a lot of things in this game that growl. It really helps narrow it down. Oh, I hope I'm not making a mistake here. You'd think that level 45 would be good enough. Okay, I do have a crit available, so that's good. Uh, I see more body parts. Oh, I swear to Christ, if it... Whoa, okay. oh, shit. You know whatever's up there is probably full. Yeah, that's really good news. Well, this is already really creepy. I'm not liking it. Shut up. Hey, quit. Would you shut the fuck up? Where are you? Quiet. What are you doing? It's like dragging something. I think we all know what that something is, but still. Is that a bone? Pelvis bone. That's an odd place to keep your pelvis bones. Something ain't right about this place. Careful. Oh, you think so? You don't know where that's been. Yeah. You know, I mean, in a place like this, I think the least of our worries is where the teddy bear was. 
Like, why would you store it on a bookshelf? That's what I don't understand. Like, what kind of a monster does something like that? Whoa, what? What the fuck was that? Why the music? Is it the mannequins? Oh, they're gunners. Not I was sure wondering. What here, but I'm hoping they're not planning a repeat performance. Major Jeffries. I was wondering who they were because they were f like, you know, there there are hierarchies in in other factions, but you know, like with the Brotherhood of Steel, there's like scribes or you know knights and paladins and stuff like that. Uh, when I saw Private Heart, you, you'd think that like, okay, so this is like more of a traditional. Americanized militarization sort of thing. But I didn't really know who that could have been. You know? I don't really know much about the Gunners. I don't think they were in any of the other games. Got it. I could be wrong about that. I certainly don't recall them. They definitely weren't like a huge part of either of the games. And, you know, in this one you'd think that since they're such a frequent enemy that you'd be given a little bit more backstory as to what they are meet some characters, but maybe I just haven't come across any yet. That's entirely possible. I really don't think the... the light actually makes a difference. I'm not so sure that's actually going to draw attention to or away from me. Oh, another body. Why the mannequins? Why is one of them naked? Ooh, missile launcher. I might need that. If we're going up against a death claw of some sort, or multiple death claws. This could be a, a completely different. God damn it. <laughs> this could be a completely different enemy altogether, though. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Like, maybe this is some sort of, like, one off. You know, sort of monster. That's specifically designed for this exact part. Maybe it's like a really fucked up, like, super mutant. I guess that's possible. I doubt it. Even super mutants, like, they're dumb, but they have the capacity for, for, you know, language. Cool, if only I actually used melee weapons. Okay, there we are. That that definitely answers my question. Oh shit, you are big, aren't you? Ah, fuck. Come on. Oh god. You are gigantic. Oh, okay, I thought he was grabbing me. This is bullshit. One more. Well, you're already halfway down. I probably should go for the legs. Get away from me. There we are. If someone needs help, we help them. If someone needs hurting, we heard him. It's not hard. That's not it, is it? That'd be very disappointing if that were all there was to this. Ooh. There are baby death claws. Sergeant Lee. Okay. Claw 
Scott tracked us all the way from Lynn Woods now. <laughs> we stole her damn kids. Christ. Maybe... Maybe if we just return the eggs. Oh, hey, Mama. You looking for this? Hmm. So, I could pick caps. But first of all, let's get rid of the fucking missile launcher, because... I just... I don't know. Maybe I should use this more often. Th that kind of stuff, the heavy weaponry. But I just don't really see any appeal in it. Like, I, I don't know. It's like such a heavy piece of weaponry that I'm not going to use all that often, so I, I kind of weigh the option and think to myself, like, is it really worth it? Um, probably is, and I'm probably just stupid, but I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, so do I want caps, or do I want to feel good about myself? <sighs> I don't know. You know, I have a feeling I know what Hancock's decision would be. And at the end of the day, this isn't about making myself feel good or being a good person. It's really about when can I, or how can I really go about activating the next dialogue tree. So this is entirely selfish what I'm doing. Museum Visitor's Terminal. Oh, that's impressive. How'd you do that? Are you a magician? Uh, take a stroll through the history of witchcraft. If you dare, painstakingly recreated scenes from witchcraft's most harrowing moments. Tours every half hour. Terror provided at no additional charge. Uh, re relic collection. Can't tell a cauldron from a grimoire? Gaze long upon our extensive relic collection, replica items available for purchase in the gift shop. Brave enough for a repeat visit, uh, members receive discounted entrance fees and more. Sign up today. I'm alright. I don't think there's any reason to come back here whatsoever. Is that Myler Queen still out there? Because I don't want to fuck with that. that that's not going to be fun. What the hell is that? That's nothing. Okay, so there are two different places. We go here, return the egg to its nest, or we complete the delivery of the egg. Here's the thing, though, is if I have to return it to its nest, aren't I just going to come across like a ton of death cloth I'm just going to end up killing? Like, if that happens, th this is a really stupid quest. <laughs> like, I mean, not stupid quest, but just, like, that part of the quest is really dumb, because it completely defeats the purpose. I love how I'm, like, completely prejudging this before even having any idea what I'm talking about. So, let look, let's just go there, just for curiosity's sake, if anything. And let's see what they end up doing with it. Oh, uh, what do you know? That, that is so fucking dumb. I'm sorry. That is so goddamn stupid. Like, what, it defeats the entire purpose of doing this. It's like, oh, great. Now it when it hatches, it'll just die immediately. That's great. Fantastic. This was the right decision. I don't know. I like I liked the really creepy aspect to it, but eh, this just seems kind of funny, a little, a little bit silly considering you know the ramifications of the decision. So did I actually leave it? You know what? Here's what I think of my most recent decision. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, when you got time, I I got something I still needed to hear. I'm listening. It's just being out here with you, it's made me realize most of my life to this point, I've been running out on the good things I got. I skipped out on my family, my life in Diamond City. 
Took up with you just to get out a good neighbor. Hell, running from myself is what made me into... into a damn ghoul. But being here with you for the first time in my life, things have just felt... right. And running is the furthest thing from my mind. And I left good neighbor thinking I was gonna just sharpen up the old killer instinct. But whether it's fate, or destiny, or just goddamn coincidence, I ended up with someone like you. I turned one of the nastiest settlements in the Commonwealth into a refuge for the lost. I thought I'd done something I could hang my hat on. But being out here with you, it's made me realize just how small time I'd been thinking. And that maybe all my running, for my life, myself, maybe it wasn't such a bad thing after all. Running from yourself? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I didn't always look this good. The drug that did this to me, that made me a ghoul, I knew what it was going to do. I just couldn't stand looking at the bastard I saw in the mirror anymore. The coward who'd let all those ghouls from Diamond City die. I was too scared to protect his fellow drifters from Vic and his boys. If I took it, I'd never have to look at him again. I could put that all behind me. I'd be free. Didn't seem like a choice at all. Turns out it was just me running from something else in my life. You may have run, but you always ran for a reason, Hancock. Been trying to convince myself of that for a long time. But hearing that coming from someone like you, I don't know if you understand what that means to me. So let me get to the point. Throwing in with you has been the best decision I've ever made. It's like I found a part of myself I never realized was missing. Which happens sometimes when you're a ghoul. If I hadn't taken up with you, I'd probably be in a gutter somewhere, getting gnawed on by rad roaches. You have been one hell of a friend. I know the feeling. You're a damn fine man, Hancock. I'm lucky to have you at my side. And God help any of them who get in our way. Well, I know I could stand to listen about how wonderful I am for the rest of my days, but it's probably worth us hitting the road. Thanks for hearing me out, friend. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Hancock, you have gained the Isodoped perk. What does that do? Let's take a look. Uh, stats? That's not where it would be. Right here. Holy shit, my strength is big time. Wow. Okay. Uh, should be under the eyes, obviously. There we are. Uh, thanks to your relationship with Hancock, at, 200, at 250 rads or higher, you get criticals 20% faster. Nice. Um, yes, yeah, so he just mentioned something that was kind of interesting. Also, I killed a legendary, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Um, but he mentioned how he took, like, some sort of medication? Right for the taking. Uh, in order to become a ghoul, and I was not under the impression that you could do that. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, hold on a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the fusion core. Um, but yeah, I was all like, I know what it uh, happened to the super mutants and why they became, you know, super mutants. But I never really, at least in retrospect, it doesn't seem like I knew what caused ghouls to be what they were. I was always, always under the impression that it was just radiation that turned them that way, you know? Um, that's why there are at least a lot of ghouls who claim to have um, been from, you know, before the war and st stuff like that. Ugh, God damn it. No, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them. Oh, you're coming for me. Come on. Didn't worry there for a second. Yeah, that's that would be me you're hearing. You know, the gunshots. I guess one of them decided to run away. What a little bitch. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. 
You're not so good at throwing. But you probably already knew that, didn't you? Hi there. That was very odd what you just did. Oh, I just kind of overshot it. Uh, so I'm going to CIT, by the way. Um, bear in mind, I'm currently recording this before uh, the video where I asked you guys if you had any recommendations on quests I should do or where I should go to get do those quests. So um, I'm still moving forward with the main story just because I'm having a, I'm still having a hard time finding anything new. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that we're probably, if I had to guess, because my understanding is that the main story really isn't that long and uh, we're over halfway there at this point. So if I had a hazard to guess, we're going to be sub 50 parts in this series. Um, all things considered. Uh, unless something is to change or I miscalculated how long the main story is. Uh, that seems like where we're going. And, uh, yeah, so. I think this is part 40, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Something like that. How the fuck do I get in this place? Ooh. Ooh. I think they may have seen me. It's hard to tell, though. Okay, so we just go in. I think. No? Maybe not. Alright, never mind what I was just saying. Well, we do have the CIT ruins, for all that's worth. And obviously that's, you know, like a Fallout rendition of MIT. You know, this is set in Boston and all that. I don't know why they didn't just call it MIT, though. Is that trademarked? They're not allowed to use that? Holy shit. I remember we had one of these vented. One of my legs were is vented inside the power armor, but wow. I was not expecting that. Alright, where are we headed here? Is there a particular place? Oh, probably, no? No, not in there. Hmm. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Well, first of all, what's like the actual objective? Tra yeah, just travel here. Okay, so I've traveled. Maybe I need to be on the actual point. Okay. Tune of course's radio frequency. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Okay, we're getting closer. Of course, we're heading right into enemy territory here. How that would help me. Why would I run? That's not beneficial in any way. God damn it. <laughs> That's that didn't help me at all. That was that was really sad. Hey, good luck with that, man. If you turn feral, maybe you can channel some of that extra power and energy. Maybe you can figure it out. We're getting there. Green Tech Genetics. Uh, no, we're getting further away now. No. I'm trying to... God damn it. I, was... I think it's somewhere past here. Hmm. You wanna move out of the open? Oh, 
Wow, that was a massive failure on your part. Okay, hold up a sec. Maybe it's this way? No? God damn it! I'm getting really frustrated. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's right here. All right. Green Tech Genetics. Let's do it. I should probably turn off the radio. Might be a good idea. Excuse me. Let me know what I can carry. Shut the fuck up. We're trying to sneak. I don't need you yelling. Jesus Christ, have you never done this before, man? Think. I have to tell everyone this. The courser's on the second floor. Kill on sight. Send reinforcements to the lobby in case there are more. Okay, so I remember mention. Uh, I kind of wish I had brought Deacon now. But I remember Deacon mentioning how, you know, if you see a courser, you're in some deep shit. As if, like... They're not like other Institute synths. They're much more powerful and capable. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not... I, I can't say I'm too surprised by that. God damn. They never end. Are we done now? No more turrets? Nope, still more turrets. Not long now. Jesus Christ. Okay. What's going on down there? How many are we dealing with? Well, two more now. Whatever it might have been before. Engaging hostile. Let's run. I'm guessing. Yep, yeah, you're talking about me. Oh, oh good luck with that, man. Maybe you can engage a different hostile because I'm not exactly the one you want to engage up. with. Show us what you got. Uh, 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 oh. Jeez. The courser is now on the third floor. Reports of the second intruder in the east wing near the courtyard. Get move. Okay, thank you. Uh uh technical. Nice. Right. Hi. Whoa, okay. Oh. Eve, his head like just kind of fell off. Like not even. It wasn't even like some sort of big blaze of glory or massive explosion. It was just kind of like just plopped out. It was like an impotent decapitation. Like, that's the only way I can really describe it. What? Oh. See? It happened again. It's like they're just, like, asking to be- to fall off. Like, they just can't wait at the prospect. Barricades, stairwells, and hallways, if you haven't already. You saw that. Uh, losing it. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I'm pretty sure that you're... We're all kind of losing it, don't you think? In some way or another. 
not to philosophize with all you. That's probably my favorite line from Dodgeball. Like at the really at the very end, where White hears uh, Vince Vaughn giving his little speech. This year, now he's a philosophizer or something. Let's rock! Yeah, it was worth the shot. Can't say I'm too surprised though. Don't you dare tell me this is for turrets and whatnot. I'm not going to be happy. That's it. There. Yeah, and what do you know? It's turrets. Isn't that just a shock? Whoa, okay. Whoa! Bad time to save. Alright. Gotta be careful. Uh, I'll take that one out. Eh. Yeah, you fucker. Uh-uh. Ah, you'll be fine. Shake it off. Just a missile. Have I already been here? Nah. Got it. I don't think so, at least. Oh. Oh. Lucky me. That didn't if really affect me. For that. I thought those were live for a second. Uh, I was like, some places you just why are they all next harder. to each other? That doesn't make any sense. I guess maybe if you wanted to make like a super duper extra big explosion or something. Why did the door Let's open? Run. Oh. Ow, you Just piece dead. of shit. Hey, you messed up my power armor. It's red now. That's not okay. Hey, get back here. God damn it. Now I, now I have to repair this. So thanks. Oh, you're here now. God, that's upsetting. That's another thing. It really shouldn't be all that big of a deal to me, because the whole point of the power armor is to protect me. And so, in situations like that, otherwise I would be crippled. But for some odd reason, it, like, disincentifi it disincentivizes me to, if that's even the right way of saying that, but it, like, disincentivizes me to use it because I'm worried that something's going to break, which is stupid. That really shouldn't be the way I'm, I'm looking at it. But, oh, sue me. It is. Got it. Yay. Cool. Well, before we continue down that way, gotta look around. Plasma cartridge. That's nice. Yeah, what? Oh, okay, I thought there was something glowing on the top, but nope, it was just a reflection. Well. And I've already been here, I think. In some capacity. All right, we got missiles and we got a stealth boy. All right, if I if I have been here, wasn't very perceptive. <laughs> Missed two pretty big things. Fall back to original position. The course is nearing the elevator. Holy shit! Just like out of nowhere, all th all these things just start going off. Ow. 
stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Knock it off. Well, now I have to get something to eat. So thanks. A lot. Yeah, if only you were actually contributing to it. That'd be nice. Uh, I heard running. Horses after the curve. Any supply needs to get up to the top floor immediately. That's an order. Horses after the girl? Was it somebody else that he's trying to collect for the Institute then? These are tripwire. Come on. There we go. Uh huh. Hello? Who? Me. There we go. Shit. Eh. You know, at this point, I might as well just sell all my bobby pins. <laughs> like, because I only need one. I'm on him. There's no reason to have any others. I'm guessing that the, uh, terminals for the safe. God damn it. There we go. That's it. Alright, so who's on it? You? Am I supposed to be nervous about this? Because I'm not. Oh. Well then. You have a buddy. Yay! You hear Who? Who was that? Oh, hi. Quite surprises anyway. Ooh. She just disintegrated. Dick shot. Oh. That's what that was. That's all I need from there. You do what you gotta. And I'm guessing this elevator is going to take me to the courser, right? That's where we're headed here. I can unlock this, so why not? I'm in. There we are. Open that shit. Come on. Okay, so what's inside here? What's inside here that's so amazing? Really, that's it? Just two fusion cores? Cool. Damn. A lot of learning went into putting together a place like this. Like, don't get me wrong, like, the fusion cores are nice, but for master level hacking, I don't know, it just seems like a hollow reward considering 
that would require four level ups just and that's not even taking into consideration uh, the placement of it on the skill tree so you'd have to okay you have to go up four actually no it's three level ups plus at least four intelligence points so I mean it's kind of oh If you had nothing in intelligence, that requires seven, uh, seven upgrades in level, just to be able to reach that. I don't know the password. I'm telling the truth. I don't believe you are. Oh God! Please, no! no. Please, no. Please, please help me. All he had to do was tell me the password. Now, are you going to cooperate? Oh God! Oh tell God! Me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. Let me think. You are, I'm going to get in there. It's just a matter of time. Tell me the password. Look, I already told you I don't okay. have Okay, we're going to try this out because it seems like there's stuff inside there. Ugh, this is very far off. Nice. There. So what's inside here? All we want is a little compensation in return. You are in no position to negotiate. Okay, okay, it's just let me think. Time's running out. No, please, wait. You, you, uh, you can have the girl. Just, just let me go. We're gonna look around a little bit longer. Cause quite frankly, I don't care if that guy dies. He's part of a group of people that are just kind of assholes to me, so... I don't feel too much remorse for him, because... Meh. Psst. I think that's a sufficient explanation. Meh. Nothing there. Alright, here comes the courser. Me? What? What? Really? Why me? I've been Get following over you. Here. Oh, Are you, you want to talk to me? Synth? Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is Fuck You. If you're not here for the synth, then you're here for me. What do you want? And just who is this synth anyway? A fugitive. Runaway Institute property. I'm shutting her down and bringing her back. You, on the other hand, will die like the rest of them. Oh, is that so? Oh, that's cute. No vats, huh? Oh, and you use the little stim packs. Hmm. The thing is, I can see you. Barely. And I'm using a lot of my ammo for this. Here, can I use my stealth boy and be just as effective? Is that possible? Uh, also, where... Hmm... Stealth boy, here we go. Nope, can't be as just as effective, which is kind of bullshit, if you ask me. God damn it. Motherfucker. Oh, there you are. Oh, it wore off, did it? <laughs> You're in some deep shit now, buddy. Getting right in my face like that? What are you doing? Take whatever you can. I'll keep watch. Take your uniform and your courser chip. Go fuck yourself, buddy. Alright, the courser uniform. Uh, it's not bad. 
Um, it's not as good as what I have by any means, but you know, it's not bad. So have it analyzed by who? Okay, so there's some girl that's in trouble. Is that you? Excuse me. He. He deserved to die. I know you're not here for me, but I can't get out. Not on my own. I'm going to have to trust you to help me. Relax, lady. It's gonna be fine. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? The guard put the password in a toolbox over there under the stairs. Use it to gain access to the terminal and open the door. Under the stairs? Okay, hold up a sec. What was that weapon? Night vision. Automatic. Combat. Meh. I'm good. It's in the toolbox. Okay, so she. The oh, the toolbox. Right here? Indeed. Genetics password. Turn that on. All right, lady. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Sorry about that, I just checked my phone. Oh, you must not have heard. I'm a superhero. I do this for a living. My institute designation is K-198. But I prefer Jenny. So yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. Or I could send you to the railroad. Don't help anymore. Well, you know, fuck you, lady. I was just a kind, caring citizen that decided to help you. And then you act like that. So. I hope you die. Yeah. No, no. You know what? I, that's how I feel. I'm, I'm, I'm extreme like that. You know? I'm a very basic kind of person. If you wrong me. I wish terrible things upon you and your soul. Now I feel like the only proper way to end this video, which has been almost an hour, I believe, if I don't cut out too much. I feel like the only proper way to end this video is with a bit of a bang. And as we noticed earlier, I installed some vents into the feet of this power armor. My understanding also is that no matter how far you fall in power armor, you cannot die. So why not test this out? In not just theory, but also in practice. I'm curious, so let's find a good spot. Ooh, that looks interesting. Let's go with that. Well, that was disappointing and also impractical because he got here before me. God damn it. Hey. Okay.